What's going on guys? Springers here. Y'all know what that means. That means rock hopping and slinging lures for some jetty monsters. In this video, we're going to show what's in our tackle box, how we use it, why we use it, and hopefully using this information, you can make better informed decisions and have success on your next jetty outing. Let's get right into it. All right, let's just start with the number one go-to lure. I mean, let's just get the best one done first. If you can only have one lure, this is what you're gonna want. Open up the box. Can y'all guess which one it is? Oh, I already grabbed it, so. <laughs> that is a spoon. If you can only have one lure, you're gonna want some kind of spoon. Everything hits a spoon. Jacks, bull reds, king, Spanish, tarpon will hit a spoon, even cobia will hit a spoon. This particular spoon is a three ounce crocodile spoon style casting foreign made uh, there's an Amazon affiliate link for this particular one if you're interested it'll be down in the description and the spoon you use you're gonna want to make sure the weight of the spoon is your gear is rated for the weight of the spoon you're gonna throw and the spoon is weight is gonna reflect what you want to do with it all right so ours is a three ounce spoon what that does for us, our gear is rated to throw it. It gives us distance with the wind at our backs and throwing against the wind. It also, when we go into port A, that jetties is pretty deep. And at times, those jacks and those reds can be hugging right off the bottom. So what you have to do is you gotta get your lure down to that bottom and bounce it just above that structure. If you're using too light of a lure, you're never gonna get down to that bottom, especially when the current's ripping. If you're using too heavy of a lure, well, you'd be struggling to keep it off the bottom from getting stuck. So that three ounce is a really good mark for most lures for us at Port Aransas. And even at Packery where it's shallower, we still use a three ounce because you can get that distance and just work it a little faster to keep it from getting stuck on the bottom. Now, as I said, this one's a cheap foreign made spoon, very inexpensive. However, if you want, you want to spend more money. You can use these Gator made in the USA spoons. All right, much higher quality spoon. This one has been down on a jetty rock long enough for the hooks to rust, but there is not a speck of rust on this lure. Yes, it's all scraped up. These cheap ones will rust. And honestly, it doesn't matter because by the time these rust enough that uh, you know, you can see like, oh, what, what fish is going to hit them? They're not shiny. You're already going to lose that lure. You're probably going to lose three more lures. If you're fishing the jetties, you're going to lose lures. That's just a fact. So you can use these Gator Spoon, very high quality product. I would recommend just going with the cheap stuff or the inexpensive stuff because you're going to lose it anyway. This one's not going to last long enough to catch you any more fish. Unfortunately, you're throwing down the beach. Yeah, go for it. But you're fishing structure, these rocks. You're going to lose them to fish getting in the rocks. You're going to lose them to getting stuck on the rocks. You're going to lose them to other anglers. You're going to lose them to toothy boys. No matter how much wire you got, they'll still end up cutting you off somehow. So I like the inexpensive ones. Remember, get one that is, that's weight is going to, your rods are going to be rated for and is going to do what you want it to do at your fishing location. The next one I like to use. All right, still number one. Great choice, catches everything. This next one, I really like it. This is a any kind of swimming bait with a paddle tail. Love that paddle tail, simple to use. You can just cast it out, reel it in, bounce it off the bottom, give it some stray retrieve, let it fall and flutter. And the best part about this, this particular one is a Tsunami Swim Shad. Come in packs of four, they're about $8 a pack. So they're really cheap. The downside is they will tear, if Spanish mackerel will tear them, bull reds will tear them, jacks will tear them. And all I've done is, you know, I just use some little Gorilla Glue if they're not too torn up bad and reuse them again. What I really like about these ones is that they're cheap. And especially with a lot of the construction we've had at Port Aransas and storms coming in and out, that bottom changes. So where those snags are, where the structure is, it changes a little bit. And what these are great for is bouncing that bottom because typically these swim straight up so there's less 
chance of the hook catching on anything. And when you do catch on an edge like this, you can kind of, you know, bop, bop it up over. And if you do lose them, it's inexpensive. So this is a great bait for everything. I really like them to check structure to find where those uh, snags are so I don't lose my more expensive spoons or some of these other more expensive lures. And these will catch everything. As I said, jacks, kings, reds. If you're going after tarpon and cobia, I would throw this over the spoon. The, they, they seem to hit a swim bait that imitates the shad and mullet that are around there more often than they'll hit a spoon. So if you're going after tarpon first thing in the morning or that dusk bite, swim bait's really a good contender. Next up, this one is probably a go-to especially if you're going to target kingfish guys all right this particular one it's a rapala 14 long cast doesn't have to be a rapala for y'all just anything that simulates this uh twitching jerk bait with a bill and what i love about these is you can just right the cast the them out and on a straight retrieve it gives you that action there's a little rattle in there it'll sink if you let it sink a little bit that bill kind of helps deflect rocks when you're going over rocks so you don't get it stuck as much and this one doesn't sink too deep anyway but this can be the ticket for when those kingfish are thick we've been out there there's 30 guys throwing everyone's throwing a spoon a handful of guys throwing a rapala guess who caught kingfish that day people throwing the rapala sometimes they love that and even the cobia too i would th definitely throw this rapala or the swim bait over a spoon if you're trying to target cobia trying to target tarpon for jacks if the jacks are thick and you know there's gonna be jacks i would shy away from using this because uh these are kind of expensive and the jacks will hit a spoon and jacks a big jack will take you into the rocks it happens you're gonna lose stuff uh so i'll lose the cheaper stuff compared to the more expensive stuff on these great and what we like to use or we're trying to use more for a wire when those toothy boys are out again i talked about using this for kingfish titanium wire i really like it it's more expensive but it's really great kink resistant properties that uh keeps you in that bite longer there's so many times where we've gotten a bite from a kingfish or caught a kingfish and they mess up your single strand leader it gets kinked in it and obviously these are expensive lures you don't want to risk throwing out a kink leader and then losing the next fish so with that titanium really man we've caught several fish on it and not had it any kind of kinks in it whatsoever so that helps you stay in the the fight not stay in the fight but stay fishing longer without having to retie or get a different lure that are or leader set up can really help when those bites are you know just that really slow short period of bites first thing in the morning or when a school comes through or when bait comes through great lure definitely recommend it now one of my favorites and this one is probably primarily target the jacks and kings bull reds will hit it but they got to be feeding on the top well that kind of <laughs> goes into what i'm talking about this one right here the popper this particular one is a which was this one? Oh, this one's a halka rooster popper uh 165 it's in a tsunami box, but it's a Halco Rooster Popper. Really like the a popper, especially when that water's green, there's tons of bait on the surface, be it mullet, shad. Right, you I'm see Spanish mackerel busting out of right, the distance. It's a good indicator that, you know, if you want to get a popper bite, those are yeah, probably the best chances in under those conditions. And what I really like about this, again, it's for jacks and kings. Reds will hit them. I've never had a tarpon hit a popper, or at least not these big poppers but you can work it so many ways you can work it on a pop you can do a straight retrieve when those jacks and kings are so aggressive when they come through you don't even have to pop you just cast it out and keep it tipped down and crank and it'll make a wake while you're cranking and that'll definitely trigger bite and also you can catch some big trout on these too because since it's a floater you really don't have to worry about getting stuck on the rocks so you can throw it out to submerged rock points and pop it pop it and leave it in that strike zone where you know 
the fish want to ambush I'll just off the just off the other side of the rocks just off a, a deep ledge or cut and you can just let it you know pop it a little bit pop it and wait for that bite to trigger and you're not gonna worry about getting stuck like you would a sinking lure that's gonna go down to the bottom love it it's if you're an adrenaline junkie when those jacks and kings are there throw a pop water it is just the most exciting bite you can get kings jump jump 10 feet out of the air no exaggerating to smack this bad boy and again this particular one titanium wire i really like that don't have to use it but really like that it's helped so much in reducing kinks and having to stop and tie another leader on now another good one as you can see i have another popper in here another of those rapalas because they work so well of course more spoons more swim baits another really good one right here is the Halco. This is a Max 135. Or I'm sorry, 130. Max 130. And great lure for, I would particularly use this for kingfish. When the kingfish are kind of deeper, you cast it out, you can yo-yo it off the bottom, you can do a straight retrieve, throw some twitches in. Uh, you can use it for trolling because that's kind of what this is meant for. But since we're throwing from the rock, we're not really trolling. And uh, kingfish love them. Sometimes this is the ticket when uh, the Rapala is not getting deep enough for where the kingfish are. The Halco is the way to go. Now, I, again, as I said, I'd use this for kingfish when the kingfish are there. If the jacks and bull reds are there, they'll hit it too. These are expensive. I'd rather just throw a spoon because those jacks and reds will hit a spoon too. It's, just, it's the kingfish that seem finicky. Other than that, man, that's pretty much the basics of what we use. Now, I'm going to go into this other box for some other alternatives that people like to use and more specific things. All right, and mainly, I'm going to talk about, here's another kind of spoon right here. These are mantle lures. They'll call it, call this a jigging spoon. Uh, for Bonita, they'll have epoxy spoons. Basically, the same form factor, small, little, shiny piece of lead or steel that really mimics those small bait fish great for spanish mackerel kingfish will eat them too but the hooks are kind of kind of light on them so just keep that in mind if you do hook a big fish on one of these uh watch your drags because uh, those bigger fish will bend out your hooks but and then there's bucktail jigs bucktail jigs are great this one's only an ounce but some people will throw the heavier ones the three ounce, four ounce, whatever you need to do, put a powder tail on it or a big gulp on it. These are great. And I would use these for specifically if you were trying to go after cobia. When there's big manta rays that come through, the cobia would be right behind them. And you can sight cast cobia from the rocks with these. Very limited situation. And I would go for a cobia specific jig. Just have one in your box if that's important to you. Uh, redfish will hit them tarpon will hit them what i don't really like about this other than going after cobia if you're just gonna throw these for jacks and reds to bounce off the bottom and find where they're at i'd rather use a spoon simply because the bigger the quality bucktails and the bigger sizes are kind of expensive they're more expensive than a spoon and to me i haven't found that this catches jacks better than a spoon so I might as well just use the cheaper alternative when trying to fish deep just off those rocks because well, you're gonna get stuck <laughs> it happens all right in summary guys get you some spoons size for the gear you're gonna be throwing them on I really like the cheap spoons especially if you're gonna fish the rocks as I reiterated number of times you're gonna lose gear might as well use inexpensive stuff so it doesn't hurt as much uh, swim baits are a great option, especially if you're trying to target the tarpon. But they ca they work on everything. A great bait to locate the structure and find a cheap way to find the snags. Uh, get you some kind of twitch bait with lip. Really like the lip. The lips help it bounce off the give it action and help it bounce off rocks when it does hit rocks. If you're an adrenaline junkie, the top bar is the way to go. I love a, a big popper. Get some very explosive bites. When the fish are finicky and deep, it's pretty good. The kingfish. 
a Hakko Max 130 or whatever size Max for your intended purpose can get the job done very well. And of course, a bucktail or cobia jig for those rare instances that uh, the cobia come by. All right, guys, so hopefully this information gives you all the knowledge to be successful on your next jetty outing. If you like the video, go ahead and give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification to get notified when more videos like this come out. If you got a comment, a question, go ahead and drop it down in the comment section. And as always, y'all have a great day. Thanks for watching.